Trey Lance recently went on the Rich Eisen show and said something somewhat interesting. What do you think? Tell us what he said. Yeah, so he was on the Rich Eisen show. They talked about sitting behind Garoppolo and learning and all that. He talked about what he needed to learn, how to become a pro, all those things. And then Eisen asked him a question. He tried. To, he actually basically tried to lead him towards, hey, starting wasn't the, the way to go. He said something along the lines of, um, you know, hey, what, what was the difficulty, the weeks that you were starting? Like, how hard was that to try to get through that, basically, being that you're a rookie? And he said, well, actually, um, those are the weeks that I improved the most. When I played, that's when I, I love that kid. I love yep. that man, dude. Yeah. So he, to put words in his mouth all the time, and he's like, yep. respectfully, let me let me say my perspective. I love yeah. this guy. Yeah. yeah. So I, here's the thing. Did he learn something by sitting? Absolutely. But yeah. is it at the rate of no. what he – by week five, if he had been given the keys from training camp on, by week five, that player you saw in week 17 – would have been there in week five. I firmly believe that. And then going forward, it just would have gotten better. And and Jimmy never did. My thing with Jimmy is that he never improved. He had a nice start with the Niners. It was a really exciting start. He never got better. He might have gotten regressed, worse. Grant. He might have gotten worse. And with Trey Lance, he clearly improved from start one to start two. What if he were allowed to start 17 games as a rookie? And like the Niners right now are looked at as one of the three or four favorites to win the Super Bowl. What if Lance had started last year? Oh, they'd be I, favorite. It's, I mean, it's kind of there. There's a lot of enthusiasm with him and the team, but he's legitimately one of the rawest quarterbacks ever to enter the league. Also one of the most gifted, but definitely one of the rawest quarterbacks ever to enter the league. I mean, through like 300 passes in college. And then sat out a year. And then sat out another fucking year. I'm so sorry uh, with the cursing. But he, he sat out two years in a row. And they're like, all right, two years off of bubble wrap, lead this team to the Super Bowl, win the Super Bowl. It's like, damn, man. Like, you couldn't have prepared him for that shit last year? What, wait, uh, and the reason you didn't is so Jimmy could do the same thing he's always done and throw the same intercept. It's like, and the Niners are going to trade Jimmy for whatever they're going to get. And they're going to be like, see, it was all worth it. No, it wasn't. You you messed up. It was a mistake. But they could have traded them last offseason, Grant, and gotten probably more than what they're going to get this offseason, if not the same. And you just took another year off of Lance. But I don't know, man. I just the thing the thing is with Lance. Again, I think Armstead's comment basically brought the whole picture together for me. Right? You just heard what Lance said. You heard what Armstead said. Okay. Lance felt like he needed to play to get better. Like yep. he, he told you that if I would have played, I'd be even better than what I am now. I'm already good, but I would have yeah. been better. Okay. Yeah. But Armstead is telling you what the team thought there was politics involved. If you're just going with the best player, the purely the best player, Lance would have played, but it's not just that there are politics involved there. There is the team aspect. There is the leadership aspect. And that's why Jimmy G also might end up a Colt. Again, it's not player for player. Yeah. It's the right. leadership. Yeah. So. I feel like you and like you and I and fans like get real deep into the analysis of Jimmy Garoppolo's game. And we know exactly what he is. But his and we assume his teammates are like that too. Man, they're not. Like, you know that that meme of young thug like looking real hard at the computer, like looking at his, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. His teammates aren't looking at him like that. No. They're thinking about themselves. Eric Arms says looking at himself work after practice. Jaquaski Tars looking at his own work. All they know is that they used to suck. Now they don't suck. And it's nice to have a winning record. And why question it? Like, they're not looking at Jimmy's film like that. They're not. It's big picture stuff. Like, hey, why, why even worry about it? That's what they're thinking of. It's not like, well, hold on. Look at this. They actually, they're not looking at it like that. No, you're right about that. You're right. Yeah. You're, no, that's it. I think that's a great point. That's exactly what's going on. Yes, you're right. Niner Notabot says Sher and Sanders have played with some of the Greatest quarterbacks and still praise Jimmy. Explain that. Also, why are you hating on pocket passers when you love Trask? Well, not Trask a, not a issue. is a dude that's going to be on the bench for a very long time before he gets a chance to play. If he played right away, he probably would fail. What I'm saying about uh yo, hold on. Let's talk. Hold on. Let's talk about Sherman. Sherman has a definite axe to grind against Russell Wilson. No. Yeah. So anytime yeah. he praises Jimmy Garoppolo, I'm like, what are you really doing? Are you praising Jimmy? Or are you taking a shot at Russell Wilson? 
That's yeah. my, that's my thing. Um, let me hold on. Let me hold on a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna squash that whole thing right now. The 49ers out of their own mouth this year, when they were desperate for a corner, said that they had reached out to Sherman. Sherman could have come to San Francisco. Why did he go to Tampa Bay and not San Francisco? Riddle me that. Because he wanted to play with a great quarterback. He can love Jimmy all he wants, but yeah. when everything was on the table and he had a chance to choose a team, he didn't choose the team that he was familiar with. He chose a new team with a better quarterback. He may like Jimmy. He may love his leadership. He doesn't like Jimmy that much. And you can go off of what people say all you want, but what they do tells you way more. He chose Tom Brady. All I hear from players is that Jimmy Garoppolo is likable and popular. That's great. I don't argue that. So what is my con- is my counter? Rebuttal. Likable? Popular? Who cares? I don't care. I'll tell you, I don't care. Like, yep. I'm sure there were a lot of... Like, is Aaron Rodgers likable and popular? No. Not at all. Not at all. But I'd take him over Jimmy Garoppolo and his <laughs> likability and popularity. Like, those are two of the least important traits a quarterback like ability and since when is that matter so great gunner gunner says jimmy's the perfect quarterback for a team missing the leadership aspect and that's a good piece already in place it's already like a good <laughs> he's also very likable and popular <laughs> which is basically what he just said <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry gunner yeah if you really want a likable popular leader then that's your dude that has I people in place yes of course though. And again, this is okay. This is also what what frustrates me. I, and again, your standpoint might be different than mine, but I've I have firmly said so many times, Jimmy Garoppolo is a starting level quarterback. Stop me where I'm wrong. He's a starting level quarterback anywhere from 17 to 22. I disagree. He's better than the other options. I disagree. He's better than the other options in Mullins and Bethard, who don't deserve to be on NFL teams. That is why they won games. They I still did. did win in spite of Jimmy, not because of Jimmy. So you can call that hate. I'm just telling you how it is. If you I'm way wanted, lower on Jimmy than Jesse is. I'll tell, I'll say that. And that's fine. That's fine. But for people that think that that I hate on Jimmy or whatever, I hate on Jimmy. They, they can stop. I hate they on can Jimmy stop Jimmy me where I'm wrong because Someone that on, is on the Twitter truth. Was like you're racist against Italian Americans. I was like, dog. I'm Italian American. <laughs> They're like, well, then you should have his back. I'm like, no, no. No, I shouldn't. Absolutely not. Jimmy G plus Kiara Mia for the Colts fifth rounder. <laughs> okay. What do the Colts have to offer us for Jimmy? What do the Colts have to offer? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, well, we're about to find out. We're about to find out, I guess. Jimmy never improved. He used to have happy feet. Yeah, now he just stands still. Used to have happy feet? Did you? <laughs> Hold on. Did you see the backwards pass against – the Packers. Did you see when he stood again in the pocket against the Bengals and just fumbled the ball out of nowhere? We used to have happy feet. Come on, man. He still has happy feet. I can see Defoe vouching for Jimmy Garoppolo and Indy. I really hope Indianapolis is yes. making their quarterback decisions based on their defensive tackles wishes. I really hope it seems like that's actually what they're doing. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Every year they have a new washed up quarterback they want to bring in. Like this guy's the answer. Nice. Wasn't he in Vegas with them in the Pro Bowl? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. There you go. Yes. He probably I know you is. said it'll take a dumb team to get a good pick for Jimmy Garoppolo, but national media loves him. Narrative matters. I'm starting to think the Niners might get a decent return for him. I mean, define hey, decent, you know, I, I, I don't know. To me, the fact that everyone's saying Indy likes him, Indy likes him, Indy likes him. I'm like, you sure. I don't think that's coming from Indy. Who's saying that the Niners, the way I look at it is like, Jimmy wants to get cut. Jimmy and Don Yee thought they're going to get cut. They're trying to they're trying to control their own destiny. The Niners want to trade him, and I, it's in the Niners' interest to say there's a market. They like him. They like him. Why is Indy going to hit up Ian Rapport? Like hey, I want you to tell everyone that we're really trying to get Jimmy. I, to me, maybe Indy has an offer on the table for Jimmy, but it's probably pretty low. And the Niners are trying to act like it's something. Oh, there's interest. So they could get, you know, Team X to come over the top and offer something better. Good luck. That's the best you can do. And I'm going to work so hard to make sure that every team knows it's a mistake unless you give me $3 million. <laughs> you just upped it. 
Three it was million. two million. Now it's three. Now, now it's three. It just went up. <laughs> Colts love high character guys. Been watching their draft series. Not a gup, Greg. What's up, Lee? High character guys, huh? Dude who wastes a, a month and a half to get a surgery on some on a capsule that doesn't need surgery. High, super high character, right? He's so different than the rest of the football player. He's a different type of player. He's like everyone else, man. This whole Jimmy Garoppolo is high character and different. And he's the same as everyone. He's the same. He, I, I will say this. They're all the same. They're all out for themselves. Are you kidding me? High character. I'm high Jimmy, character. Jimmy. Jimmy's the same guy that that chose not to play last year, chose not to wear any 49er gear while not playing. Ask specifically about interceptions while Debo's cramping up in the Titans game, playing with his heart on his sleeve, doing everything to win. They go to a press conference and Jimmy Garoppolo, why did you throw that interception? Well, we, 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 we. I don't know. Straight to French. Teammates do love him. Teammates love him. They think of him as a leader. I guess that's all that matters, but I don't know about high character, like higher character than who certainly isn't higher character than Lance. I'll guarantee that like Lance is the highest of high characters. So he just benefited from coming after Kaepernick and the story, man. And the story. Good point. And not Kaepernick in 2012, but Kaepernick in 2016. That's what he did. Right. Yeah, if he came after Kaepernick in 2012, it would have been no benefit. <laughs> Timothy says, hate when media says Kyle came in without Jimmy. Two picks, they never say who the quarterbacks were with his losing record. They were worse than Jimmy two picks. And the thing about That's Mullins true. is he wasn't even that much worse. That's crazy to me. Gotta love $98 ace of Bammer. Dude, you don't gotta love that. But maybe, <laughs> maybe in May. <laughs> Maybe in Detroit, not out here in the West Coast. All right, we don't do that. <laughs> Niners shouldn't even be looking for a good pick. They should be looking for someone that can contribute and help Trey out immediately. Who's that guy? Mm. Not Kittle. Damn, Grant Colley. <laughs> Bring Jeez. Christian Watson. Come on. You know he's a Trey guy. What's the problem? I don't have a problem, problem bringing in Christian. I just, I'm not trading Kittle to get Christian. Is that what you mean? Hell yeah. 